The world is ageing. Good news for people, but tough for governments. The cost of public pensions is rising as the number of retired people grows. There are also fewer workers paying contributions. The real challenge is trying to balance financial and social sustainability of pension systems. In the long term, if you have higher benefits, then you could face the problems of having to change the pension system. Delaying that reform could make it larger, more painful in the future. But on the other hand, equally, if you cut benefits by too far, you risk having old age poverty coming back in the future. Half of OECD countries are increasing the pension age, a highly visible and often controversial change. But the pension age today averages at 62 and a half years old, which means pensioners are younger than they were in the 1960s and 1970s. By 2050, pension ages will increase to nearly 65 on average. So what are the options? As we live longer, we work longer, and there's already encouraging signs that that's beginning to happen. From the 60s, pension ages, retirement ages were falling. In the last decade, that's turned around in a lot of OECD countries. The second part of the strategy is about the balance between public and private pension provision. Public pensions are very important. They're 60% of people's incomes in old age on average, but that's likely to decline in the future. And a lot of countries have put in place quite successful policies to encourage uh, coverage of voluntary private pensions. And then the third part of the strategy, particularly as we're entering a time of fiscal consolidation, consolidation is we need to do more with less and perhaps think more about targeting the public pensions on those most in need.